Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Light and I'm a DevSecOps engineer. So this video will be pretty short and to the point. We're going to talk about the difference between penetration testing and ethical hackers or ethical hacking. Um, and yes, there is a difference and we're going to go over it. Let's just jump into it. Um, wait. Before we do that, I just want to thank everybody who has jumped into the DMs on Twitter, uh, Instagram, even my Twitch, uh, and told me about, you know, how excited they are about the YouTube videos and, you know, how much clarity it's providing for them. So thanks for that, and I will continue to put out more content. So now let's jump into it. So the difference between... Penetration testing and ethical hackers. So a penetration test, let's start with a penetration tester. A penetration tester is just basically somebody who's going to act like a bad person on the internet attacking a site or attacking some application that they have. The goal is to compromise the system. Like they're looking to, you know, they have a specific goal. Either it's, you know, get domain controller, get root, a reverse shell on something like they have a specific goal in mind. Usually it's um, told to them by the company that they're hired by. They actively attack a given system. Um, you know, like I said, a company will really give them what's called a scope or a target. And they'll just say, go at it. Act like I'm not going to even give you anything, any background. Just go at it, you know. Um, <laughs> and that's what they do. They're exploiting just different vulnerabilities on that system. They don't necessarily need a certification. I said it and I will not take it back. You do not need, you don't necessarily need a certification uh, to be a penetration tester. However, you'll need a lot of experience and a good portfolio. Um, there's different uh, places out there that allow you to do what's called bug bounty and I'll probably make a video about that, but you can pretty much just go out there as a, <laughs> you'll probably have some, you know, limited training and then they'll put you in a program and there's actually programs out there that will train you and, you know, get you prepared to start doing some of this penetration testing on the, or, you know, prepare you to do bug bounties. So, um, yeah, you don't necessarily need a certification to be a penetration tester, but it does help depending on what you're trying to do. Another thing about penetration testers, they have a lot of knowledge about specific things. Um, for instance, if you're a web application penetration tester, you probably know a lot about web applications. You probably also know a lot about mobile applications. Um, does that mean that you might know how to create a phishing campaign? Yeah. Does that know? How, does that mean that you know how to um, do some some ransomware stuff? Yeah. Do you know the security controls to put in place? Probably not. Um, do you know what the comp what the company should do outside of you know the basic OWASP top ten? Given their architecture, could you explain to them what they what they need to have in place and how they can go about implementing security across the company? No, you probably don't. Um, and that's you know that's that's not really the goal of the penetration testing. You're just trying to break some stuff and get a check. <laughs> I'm just playing. You're not really trying to do that, but you're basic. You're basically trying to, oop, sorry. Oop, there we go. All right. So now we're brighter. Um, you're basically trying to accomplish a goal and that goal is whatever the company gave you to pretty much see, um, the defense that they have around that specific application, uh, or, you know, site, whatever. So you can also freelance as a penetration tester. You can freelance or be hired by a company. Um, so like I said, you could probably do the bug bounties. You can probably, um, you know, go on Fiverr or something and say, hey, I do some testing. I could probably test against your apps and, you know, put yourself out there like that. Again, you don't necessarily need a certification to do that. You just need uh, an extensive amount of uh, experience and, you know, some other things that will be lined up uh, that I could probably make a video off of. Lastly, you can, you know, eventually get a cert. There's, you know, specific certs for ethical hacking, um, like certified ethical hacker. You can also get, you know, a higher up CISSP cert, which are, um, I think the training and the tests are pretty, uh, 
ex expensive, but you can get a cert and actually become a ethical hacker. So that's it for penetration testing. Now, ethical hacking or being an ethical hacker, your goal is to find and fix vulnerabilities before they are exploited. So let's re rewind that again. You, as a penetration tester, you're just out there acting like a bad person in these streets. Just get on the computer, clacky clacky, take your data. Like, that's you. Ethical hacker is more on the inside that's like, okay, I have these techniques that a, pen that a penetration tester can do, that a malicious person would use. Um, but I can go a step further and, you know, I have all this extensive knowledge that I can give to the company and help them protect themselves from being compromised. Um, that person will most likely have a certification. Um, like I said, you have CISSP and you have Certified Ethical Hacker. Um, just think of it as you're a person that can use both sides of the force, you know. You can be good, you can be bad, but you know the thin line between the two and you've been trained on it. So you basically need, a, like I said, a, a certification with training and a, a good amount of experience. Nowadays, people are really looking more to probably like five to 10 years of experience, but you could probably, I don't know, you probably get away with it, truthfully, if you got the cert. Um, but even the certifications have certain qualifications for you to get um, uh to even start look at and be looked at and say, oh, I have this, you know, um, experience. So that person or, you know, ethical hacker, they have the same knowledge as a pen tester. They have the certification. They're most likely hired by the company either full time or they can even contract it out, but it's a long term contract. Uh, they have an extensive amount of knowledge on a variety of things like networking, programming, hardware. If you ever looked at the Certified Ethical Hacker or CISSP certifications, they're not the same. They're, they're two different ones. I know I'm saying or, but they're two different things. Um, if you ever looked at those two um, certifications, you'll see that you have to have a lot of knowledge like there's eight domains i think in the cissp i don't know how many there are in the c in the in the ceh is what it's called uh certified ethical hacker cert but there's a bunch of knowledge that you need way more than if you just got a, a certification for penetration testing because you're basically looking for vulnerabilities in different solutions configurations across the board for the company not just the web apps, but you're really under, trying to help the company understand its defense in depth and telling them how to, you know, protect themselves so that they don't get compromised. So that's it in a nutshell. Penetration tester, act like a bad person, hack the things that people tell you to, to hack and see if you can get it. You have a goal to compromise something um, and then Usually you're doing a write-up, which, you know, I could talk about that in another video of what, you know, the steps of penetration testing are. But you're usually trying to, you know, you have a goal in mind and it's been written out by the company and you're just trying to achieve that goal. Ethical hacking, you're trying to work with the company and assist the company in uh, creating defense in depth uh, to be able to um, secure their applications, their people, um, the company as a whole, so that they don't get compromised. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that gives you some type of clarity. If it does, drop a comment below and let me know. Um, let me know which one would you choose? Would you be a penetration tester or you be an ethical hacker? Me, I, I'm kind of I'm doing some ethical hacking now, but I wouldn't mind dabbling in a penetration testing. Um, and another thing, too, if you're an ethical hacker, you can actually become a penetration. You can just freelance and do penetration testing. Um, but you'd have to get a cert if you was just a pen tester who wanted to do ethical hacking. That's great. But, yeah, just which one would you choose? Drop a comment below and let me know. Uh, thanks for joining me in this video. I appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting. I do live streams on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, as well as 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. But until then, see you.